Hello, Hillmount. Welcome back to Pose and PE. Excited to be with you once again this week. Uh, this week, our focus is on target sports. Target sports. Sports where we're trying to hit it, throw it, shoot it, whatever, towards a target. Okay? Today, our focus is on bocce ball or lawn bowling. They're very similar, just played on a different surface. Uh, and actually, did you know, I'm not lying about this, did you know lawn bowling is one of the most dangerous sports in the world? All right, look it up. Totally true. All right, you'll see it right there, right between cliff diving and high altitude mountain climbing. All right, so look that up. We're playing one of the most dangerous sports in the world today. Believe it or not, you don't need a helmet. You don't need safety glasses. All right, you don't need a seat belt, anything like that. Uh, but be warned, we are playing one of the most dangerous sports in the world. Here's what you need. Very, very simple. You need uh, two softballs that are one color. Jacob will show you his two. And two softballs that are a different color. Ella will show you his two. Her two, sorry. And then one smaller ball. All right, so notice mine, the one I'm holding is a little bit smaller than the ones Jacob's holding and the ones Ella's holding. All right. And it shouldn't be red or green, right? If we're playing red and green, then the other one's a different color or multicolored like ours is. Okay, so that's all you need today. It's very simple. And of course, your filled up water bottle because we're going to be working hard. All right, so go pause the video, grab all those things, and we'll see you here for our warm up. Hail Mound, before we play that dangerous sport, we are going to warm up. Follow me. Starting with the mark. So happy to be back in your houses once again. Let's swing our arms to the side as we march. Excellent. Let's take it to an arm pump. Pump, pump. Good. We're going to be using our arms a lot. Got to warm them up for our bocce. All right, just take it back to a march. Get ready to run. Here we go. Keep pumping those arms. Jumping jack. Excellent job, hell now. Take it back to a march. We're going to be step touching. We're going out to the right. Here we go. Good. Let's do our step touch with some laterals. Let's do some bench pressing. Keep it going, Hell now. With curls. How are we doing, Hell now? Keep it going. Let's take it to a run. You know what's coming, Speed Bears. Quick feet, quick feet. All right, back to a run. We're going to take an opposite knee to opposite elbow. This is for you. You know who you are. Great job. With the hop. Back to a run. Woo! I'm feeling it. I hope you are too, hell man. Get ready. We're going to reach down, touch the floor, and jump up. Keep it going. Eight more. Last one. Back to a run. 
quick feed. Here we go. Back to a run. Get ready for quick feet. Here we go. Back to a run. Quick feet. Nice job, Hillmount. Grab a drink. We'll see you soon for the aerobics. All right, Hillmount, welcome back. I know you're so excited to play the most dangerous sport in the world, but first we've got to do our aerobics. So grab two of your balls. Two of your balls. If you have two red ones, two green ones, two blue ones, whatever it is, grab those two and follow me. Here we go. One of the most We're going to start with a mark. We're going to put one of our balls just behind us for now and just holding one ball. Let's just try throwing it up in the air. Keep that march going. Throwing with two hands, catching with two hands. You know how to do this, Hillman. We've done this a lot the last few weeks. Keep the march going. All right, let's try with just your right hand. Just your right hand. It's a nice small ball. Can you catch it? Can you throw it? Just a reminder, you don't have balls in your house? No problem. Roll up some socks. Use a small stuffed animal. Roll up a shirt. I saw some of you doing that in your videos. Fantastic. That ball goes away. Just go get it. Come right back. Keep that march going, Elma. All right. Can you do it in your left hand? The march going. All right, can you do it from hand to hand? If you're getting good at it, do it over your head. If you're not so good at it, you can do it very close to your hands. That's fine too. All right, let's try all that with the run. So we're running. We started with two-handed throws, two-handed catches. Great job, Hilma. All right, let's try with just your right. Keep the run going. That's the most important part. Our legs are warmed up. Let's not lose that. All right, let's try just your left hand. Keep that run going. Great job, everybody. Good for you if you're catching it. All right, hand to hand. Either over your head or close to your hands. Keep that run going, Hillmount. All right, just take it back to a march. We're gonna pick up our other ball. We're still marching, Hilma. I have both balls in my hand, both balls. We're gonna try one hand. We're gonna try the other hand. One hand and the other hand. Here we go, we're still marching. One hand, the other hand. One hand, the other hand. One hand. The other hand. Can anybody do it with a run? Good for you if you can. I bet you know what's coming soon. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It's a little bit tricky. Keep it going, Hill Mount. Remember, if it's easier for you, just go back to one ball. If two balls is too hard for you. That's totally fine. Just keep the run going. Keep your heart rate up. All right. I wonder if anybody can do two ball juggling. It looks like this. I'm passing to one hand, I'm throwing the other ball high in the air, and I'm trying to keep them both up in the air. Two ball juggling. Try that. Sorry, I'm running. Let's just try it walking first, shall we? Just with the walk. 
Two balls juggling. When you get good at it, you can go to the run. Woo! No problem if you drop it. Just go get it quick and get right back into it. Two ball juggling. Here's your challenge. Can you do it the other way? I cannot. Oh. I cannot. Whoa. <laughs> Don't worry if it's tricky. It's supposed to be tricky. Just have fun with it. Keep trying it, Hillman. You'll get it. One last one. Oh. I know that was tricky. Grab a drink of water. We'll see you soon for our skills. All right, Hillmount, welcome back. We are going to be, hello, Ella. We are going to be uh, learning our skills for the game of bocce or lawn bowling. Come follow me. One ball is in your hand. You're just throwing it up in the air and catching it. You can do it with one hand. You can do it with both hands. You can do it one hand to the other hand. Whatever you want to do. Just get really comfortable with your ball. All right, beautiful. When we throw in bocce ball, we hold the ball under hand. So our hand is under the ball. We step with our opposite foot. We follow through, okay? We're throwing under hand, stepping with the opposite foot, and arms going nice and straight towards our target. Four more of those. Excellent job, Hillman. We can also do different spins. If we want the ball to spin forward, we just throw regular and the ball will go forward. Okay? If we want the ball to spin in, okay, my case is going to spin to the left because I'm right-handed. I push, don't push, I spin my hand. So I spin it as I'm releasing, I spin it to the left and that will make it spin that way. If we want the ball to spin out, in my case, to the right, I'm right-handed, I'll spin my hand the other way. Okay, so I'm spinning my hand towards the right, and that's going to cause the ball, after it lands, to go to the right. And we can also have the ball spin back. I'm holding it over the ball this time, and I'm flicking my wrist back after I release it, and that should make the ball spin back. Okay, let's try all those. Jingo Bella behind me, please. We're gonna start with a spin, regular spin forward. All right, we just wanna see your ball going forward for this one. Regular spin forward. Excellent, let's work on an in spin. Remember, we're doing it towards the left if you're right-handed. Remember to spin, spin your wrist, all right? Twist your wrist towards the left if you're right-handed, towards the right if you're left-handed. Remember, step and twist. Now, now, the game of botch, you're trying to get the ball to land on the ground, okay? So try not to hit that wall first. Try to hit the ground first. Let's try an out spin. Out spin, we're spinning the other way. Beautiful, Ella. Remember to step, and it should spin the other way. Okay, I'm flicking my wrist the other way. It's gonna make it go right. If you're left handed, flick it to the left, right handed to the right. Let's try some back spin. Hold it over the ball and try to flick it back. Okay, flicking it back. That when it lands, it actually will go backwards or just stop where it is. Beautiful, Hillman. We're going to use all those kinds of spins in our games. Grab a drink first. All right, Hillman, welcome back. Are we ready to play some games? Follow me. Here we go. Two balls, two balls. I'm going to start with what Jacob and Ella are doing. How many in a row can you keep up, can you do with throwing them both? Okay, if this is enough of a challenge for you, keep this going. If you want more, try two-handed juggling. Whoa, two-ball juggling, excuse me. All right, two-ball juggling. How many in a row can you do? How many 
in a row can you do with two balls? How long can you keep it up in the air? Don't ask me to do three ball juggling because I cannot do that. But maybe you can do two ball. And remember, if you want an even bigger challenge, I don't know if I do, try to reverse it. Try it the other way. Jacob's really good at it. Whoa, there we go. How many in a row can you do? I can get one. I can get two. I can get three. Keep it going, Hellman. How many in a row can you do the other way? This is crazy. All right. All right, we're going to teach you how to play the game of bocce. Jacob has two red balls. Show them, please. Ella has two green balls. Show them, please. I have a little ball. It's called the Jack or Paulina. Follow me. We'll show you how to play. Jack, I'm throwing it out there. Throwing it anywhere. Jacob and Ella are trying to get their ball as close to the Jack as they can. Jacob will go first. All right, not bad. Now it's Ella's turn. She's trying to get closer to the jack. Ah, she is. So right now, Green is winning. This is Jacob's last ball. Oh, I think Green is still winning. Ella's last ball. Beautiful, Ella. So Ella would have won that two to nothing. Jacob picks up his balls. Ella picks up hers. I'll pick up the jack. All right, Jacob lost that one, so he's going to be the jack thrower. I'm the red team now, Ella's the green team. All right, I joined, I just joined, so I'll go first. Whoa. Remember, Hilma, you can use your different types of spins. Whoa. Let's see if Ella can get it closer. Oh, it looks like red won that one. So I'll pick up the red. Ella will pick up the greens. Ella will throw the jack. And now it's Jacob versus me. Jacob will go first. Ella, can you just make sure they can see the balls in the camera, please? Yep. All right. Jacob's pretty close. Oh, I'm the closest now. Oh, I think I'm going to win this one. All right, that one's far away, but it doesn't matter. I have one closest. So it's Ella versus me. What happens if I move the jack? If you move the jack, that's fine. Great question, Jacob. Here. And Ella will go first. Here, Jacob, you play against Ella, I'll tell the people some stuff. All right, Jacob just asked a great question. What happens if he moves the jack? And the answer is now the jack is in a new spot. All right, so now we're trying to get close to where the jack is next, okay? Hopefully you found someone to play with. If you didn't, no worries. You can play this on your own. Be both teams, all right? And see what team is winning more often. All right, maybe you can do your right hand against your left hand even. That's fun. If you want, you could do your feet. Right foot against your left foot. All right, we're gonna stick with the traditional way over here. But you can find different variations in your house. Keep it going, Hellman. Oh, great shot, Ella. Oh, nice try, Jacob. Try to knock it away. Just leave it there, Jacob. Oh, nice block. Oh, good try. All right, I'll, I'll play against you. Last one now. We're going to move out of the way so we don't see you. enjoyed playing at your house too. Grab a drink of water and we'll see you for our cool down. And welcome back. Congratulations. You just survived one of the most dangerous sports in the world. I'm not even joking. If you don't believe me, please, I encourage you to look it up. And you can even leave a comment in the Google Classroom of why you think. Uh, it's right there with cliff diving and high mountain climbing and car racing and bull fighting and all that kind of stuff. All right, but for now, let's not think about that. Let's do a cool down. Follow me. We're just marching and inhaling. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
As you're still marching, let's rotate your neck. Keep the march going. Good, let's stretch out our arms. Keep the march going if you can. We can stop the march, shake that out, other side. And shake that out. And we haven't tried too much lately. Let's try to do some core rotations. Boost our core a little bit today for our underhand throws. And we're going to stop it and we're going to reverse direction. Alright, great job. Let's take it to our left side. You're just going to do a side lunge, stretching the inside of your leg. Other side. Remember to keep your head up, keep your chest up. And shake that out. Try to cross one leg over the others, bend down, try to reach your toes. Feel a nice stretch in the back of your back leg. Bend your knees. Shake that out, another side. And shake that out. Let's take it down to the floor. Put both of our feet together, butterfly stretch. Keep your chest up, your head up. Just press down your elbows on your knees. Shake that out. Cross one leg over the other. Try to hug your knee in towards your chest. Shake that out. Another side. And shake that out. Great job, Hillmount. Grab a drink and we'll see you very soon for our health tip of the day. Hillmount, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed our bocce baller lawn bowling today. Um, today's health tip is not so much about health and it's more so about how to hand something in on Google Classroom. Okay, if you already know how to do this, you might still want to watch. There might be some snippets, but you might be okay and not even bother to watch that. We're totally fine with that. Okay, but some of you have been asking, how do you turn it in? So here are the experts, and they're going to show you how. Jacob, you're going to start? Yeah. All right. Okay, so you can see that we've got our, um, the assignment here. And you can see that there's this big button right here. It says mark as done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that and then it and then the your teacher will see that that's that it's turned in, that you did it, and yeah. And if you wanna um add or create a Google Doc, a Google Slide, anything like that, you press the button right on top of that. It says add or create, and then you can select what you wanna do and yeah. Thank you, Jacob. That's awesome. Okay, so please, 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 Hillmount, don't just do these videos. I want to know that you did the videos, okay? So do what Jacob just told you, mark it as done, and then I will give you a mark as well. He also showed you how to add something. If you can, we love looking at your videos. Add a video of you doing it. Or a photo. Add a photo of you doing it. Okay, if you can't add a photo or a video, maybe no one was there to take one of you, not a big deal. Add a comment. Our third option after video and photo, our third favorite thing is a specific comment. All right, a general comment would be something like, it was fun, which we like hearing, don't get us wrong, but we'd rather hear a specific comment. Ella, can you think of a specific comment for today's program? Well, it, it was cool that I learned all those spins. 
Excellent. So that would be an example of a great specific comment. Okay, Hilma. So hopefully now you are marking down, you are marking it as done, you are submitting it uh, with, with an attachment if you can, or even a nice comment if you can, or even a not so nice comment. We're fine with that too, okay? Uh, just give us the feedback. We love, love, love looking at it and reading it. And I don't just read it and see it. Jacob looks, Ella looks as well, and it's a lot of fun for us to see. And like I said, the bonus is after that, you'll get your mark back as well, okay? So I hope you had fun with our bocce slash lawn bowling activities today. Our sport for tomorrow, another target sport, it is going to be bowling, all right? So get your bowling balls ready, get your bowling pins ready, or even empty water bottles, and we'll see you tomorrow for our bowling activities. Bye, everybody. Bye.